I know the feeling of what it's like to be scared to say something to somebody. And that's why they put these people in place so you can reach out to them. I don't want this to be you. I don't want there to be another Vanessa. <laughs> The military tries to do a good job of educating you on how to prevent the sexual assault and sexual harassment. But the thing is, there's always bad apples in the bunch. Just like everything that's going on on the outside in the world right now, there are people in the military that are bad apples. Hey everybody, it's Army Princess here and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are watching me for the very first time, I'm Army Princess, a US Army soldier. I've been in the military for over 10 years now and I love to share my experiences with you all to help you all become the best soldiers you can be. With that being said, go ahead, hit that subscribe button right now because I drop military related content every single Monday and sometimes throughout the week I sprinkle in other types of content. So click that notification bell with the all options so you never miss an upload from me. So lately I've been getting a lot of people reaching out to me about Vanessa. People are curious, they are scared, they are thinking about joining the military and this happened and now they are scared. And initially when a few people reached out to me I said I wasn't going to speak on it because I didn't know much about the case. But I've been getting an overwhelming response of questions and comments, DMs and emails about sexual assault or sexual harassment in the military and people asking me to speak on her case specifically. So for the people who don't know who she is or haven't heard anything about her, she is a Fort Hood soldier who has gone missing, I believe since April. She was last spotted in the parking lot at lunchtime and after that, nobody's heard from her. She did mention to her mom a few weeks before she disappeared that she was being sexually harassed at work. She was a little bit scared and nervous because she felt like if she spoke out, nobody would pay her any attention, nobody would listen, nobody would do anything and she would have negative repercussions for speaking out. And so I don't know a lot about the case. That's pretty much all I know about the case through watching different YouTube videos on her. But I decided to do this video anyway because I want to let people know that there are avenues that they can go through if they feel like they are being sexually harassed or they may be sexually assaulted in the military. So originally, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk on the subject, but after getting so many emails and so many DMs about it, I felt like it would be my due diligence to just kind of explain to a lot of the people who may even be in the military, maybe new to the military, that there are avenues, there are practices and things put in place. So I know the feeling of when you come in the military, being the lowest ranking person and you have this higher ranking leadership over you and they're telling you to do things and you kind of feel like, well, I have to do it right because that's the rank structure. These are my supervisors. I have to do what they say. And that's not always the case when it comes to these type of situations. So I was in a situation at my very first duty station where there was another soldier that would make comments about my body every time I went to PT. And it kind of made me feel uncomfortable, but I was so new to the military and so new to everything that I didn't really speak up. I didn't feel like I had a voice to speak up and to tell him to stop doing it or to say something to somebody else above him. Just because I was a little Little nervous I was a little scared and I didn't really know my left and right limits and what I should do I don't want this to be you I don't want there to be another Vanessa now you may say army princess what if my supervisor is the one that's doing it who do I go talk to everybody has a boss if your direct supervisor is the one that's harassing you there's always a boss or a supervisor on top of him in the army there is something called rank structure there's always somebody that's in charge of somebody else and you can go to the higher level in situations like this you can go straight to the first sergeant you can go straight to the commander i don't want you to feel like you can't say anything to somebody the military puts practices and people in place that you can reach out to and that you can talk to if you feel like you're being harassed if you feel like you're being discriminated against and so i know the army for sure has what's called the sharp program sexual harassment assault prevention there are people in your unit that you can reach out to there are people on post that you can reach out to if you get sexually assaulted if you feel like you're being sexually harassed now i'm not saying that what vanessa did or didn't do 
was brought upon herself or what she should have done. I know the feeling of what it's like to be scared to say something to somebody. And that's why they put these people in place so you can reach out to them. If you're in the military, then you already know we do tons and tons of training, whether it's face-to-face -face training or online training. And every quarter, there is SHARP training. SHARP training is those educational trainings, the educational class on how to prevent sexual assault and sexual harassment, and then the guidelines and policies that are put in place if you are sexually assaulted or sexually harassed. The military tries to do a good job of educating you on how to prevent the sexual assault and sexual harassment. But the thing is, there's always bad apples in the bunch. And the crazy part is, people have been asking me, is this something that happens all the time? Is this something that I should be scared of? Is this something that you deal with on an everyday basis? And the answer for me is no. This is the first time in all of the military that I've been in that I've heard of a situation like this. That's not to say that it doesn't happen and it hasn't happened because I know that there was a young man who went missing last year in Fort Hood. But my thing is the military is a small subcategory of everything that's going on right now in the United States. And if we have an incident in the military, it gets put on a huge spotlight and blown up more so than what's going on in the regular media. So I have people saying, well, I was thinking about joining the military, but I'm scared because of what happened to Vanessa. That's the same thing as saying, well, I was thinking about going off to college, but people get raped all the time, so maybe I shouldn't go to college. Or I was thinking about moving to a big city, but people get raped and killed all the time, so maybe I shouldn't go to the big city. You cannot base it on things like that. I know that in my particular unit, in all of the bathrooms, the female bathrooms, there are numbers plastered on the wall. People have duty phones, which means there's a phone number that you can call 24 hours a day if you are harassed, if you are assaulted. There are people that you can reach out to that will help you get out of the situation um, and you will not get in trouble for it. That's the thing. People think that, oh, I'll get in trouble if I speak out or nobody will listen if I speak out. If nobody listens to you, then you go to the next higher person and you write it down and you document it. If you said something to somebody and nobody took it serious and they didn't listen to you, you go to the next higher person. You can always go to the military police. You can always speak to a chaplain. You can always go to the post command sharp building sharp program. Whatever happened to Vanessa is a very sad situation. My heart goes out to her and her family. I hope that she's found. I hope that she's brought back alive well and okay. And I hope that we can get the people who did this to her. If any anybody has any information on what happened to her, there's information in the description box below where you can reach out and provide help. For the people that are contemplating joining the military and scared that something like this may happen to them, all I can say is that there are people in place in your units that you can reach out to. Don't ever think that you have to stop at the next highest level. There's always a boss on top of a boss. And on that note, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.